guys, welcome to another edition of My Life as Jay. Today I'm being joined by my amazing sons, Terrell. Do you want to tell them what your channel is? My channel is TK Blaming Vlogging and Gaming. Jeremiah? My channel name is Black Thunder Trust. And Jordan, who's behind the camera? Hello, channel's Epic Sports Gamer. And Epic Two. Perfect. So what we're going to be talking about today is, for most of you who don't know, we currently live in Toronto, but we are originally from Nigeria. Um, there are several things that um, children or even youths go through when growing up in a family, in a Nigerian family, that we oh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely get irked by. So I wanted to have a talk with my boys today and see if thus far they've experienced anything growing up in this Nigerian family that absolutely irritates them. So Terrell? One thing is the oldest is always like gets everything more than the youngest or like the middle child. So like I'm the middle child and like my older brother's on the camera. Uh, one time it was my birthday and my uh, my grandpa was giving out money and I got fifteen dollars or like yeah five dollars or like six dollars or seven dollars and he got ten dollars and okay. it was my and it was my birthday okay so basically what you're saying is the oldest everything is always about the oldest yes if you're sharing meat the oldest will get more if you're sharing money, the oldest will get more. They'll always get the biggest drumstick or the, big, the, or the biggest, <laughs> the biggest drumstick. Biggest chicken. That's funny. I remember growing up that really, really, really used to annoy me would be the fact that my father would be sitting on the couch. The remote control would be on the couch right next to him. And even though I was upstairs busy doing God knows what, he would interrupt whatever it was that I was doing upstairs, make me walk all the way down the hall come all the way downstairs just to reach over to the couch right next to him and give him the remote control. I mean, really. People, really? Seriously? Do you, can you think of anything that you've experienced as a little one? Okay. okay. Um. We can come back to you, it's okay. Jordan, anything? So, I think that the youngest, like, gets the most special treatment. Like, they're always treated the best. And, I mean, yes, I understand that because in, even in our households, these two, Jordan and Terrell, tend to think that Jeremiah, who's the youngest, gets away with everything and gets everything. Naturally, he's the youngest. He's the baby of the family. There's nobody coming after him. And I don't even think that's a Nigerian thing. I think that's more like a universal thing that the youngest child is usually a spoiled one because they're like mommy's baby. They're like the little one. Everything is a curse. I called my little brother short the other day and my dad said it was a curse. I'm wishing for him to be short. If you say something bad about yourself, like my fingernails are too long, your fingernails will be as long as an elephant's ears. Like. Really? If you're sleeping and you have nice wear, it's the devil. If you're pregnant, you don't tell anybody until after three months because spiritual attack. Somebody will eat your baby from the womb. If you are cooking, you don't want to look away from your food. Somebody will slip poison inside. Spiritual attack. It's the devil at work. Everything is the devil. Another thing is like how it takes a whole village to raise a child. You can be in the middle of church and your son will do something and the person all the way at the front of the church, you don't even know them, they will come and they will beat your child or they will spank him and it's allowed because every, oh, another thing, everybody is everybody's mommy, everybody is everybody's daddy. Like now, my husband, he has seven brothers. I'm all of their wives. Apparently, I'm not married to one person, I'm married to seven persons because in his culture, I'm his brother's wife. Seven I'm all, <laughs> I'm all his brother's wives, right? They call me my wife, my wife when they see me, which is just weird. And when whenever my son meets my um, husband's twin, he calls him daddy. And I'm, at first I was like, that's a little bit confusing. My son only has one daddy. But of course, in his culture, all the brothers are daddy. Wherever he sees them, daddy, daddy Taiwo, daddy this, daddy that, daddy this. It's just like one big extended family. Preach! Can you guys think of anything else? Can you think of anything else? Um, the oldest, the oldest in the family, 
That's the biggest chicken leg. And the biggest turkey. And the biggest everything. The biggest camera. The biggest. The biggest. The biggest. Oh, I TV. think we already won the biggest. I think I know one thing. Once again. Let's right. say I ask for a bank account one day. And my dad already plans everything. Mm -hmm. My dad will throw that all the way into the trash. Because my 13 year old brother asked for a bank account. Right after we were right about to get me a bank account. We'll throw that all away. Because he'll throw it all the way in the trash. You mean he'll just set yours aside and now go ahead and open a bank account for your brother because he's the oldest one. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay, and before that, you were saying something about what do you mean? Yes. Tell the people. I was saying that, okay, if you think saying what do you mean to someone is rude, leave it in the comment section. Can you explain further why? Because one time I said, um, so my dad said something, I don't even remember, and I said, what do you mean? And then, I, and then he got mad at me. He brought out a belt. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. And I'm like, why? It's just, what? Do I don't even get that. Like, okay, when when your parents ask you for something and you respond with, "What do you mean?" It's the tone in which you're you're responding. It just sounds extremely rude. No, if you don't understand, I'm not done talking. If you don't understand, you say, Daddy, I'm, I, can, I don't understand. Can you please repeat? Can you please explain so I can better understand? Can you please clarify? You don't just say, what do you mean? Does that even when I'm saying, what do you mean? Does that sound normal to you? Does that sound proper? No, it doesn't. Right? Okay. So, I don't know. Do you, do you guys have anything else to add? Is that everything? I think so. Nope. Okay, so, well, thanks for joining us today. I'm not sure what culture or what backgrounds um, viewers are from, but if there are any of you that come from cultures where you experience similar things, we would be, we would love to hear from you. So kindly um, let us know in the comment section. Um, I'd really love to hear your feedback and know some of the things that you're all experiencing in your own families. Okay, so we'll be back with another well, video. Like and comment. Press the notification button to be a part of the notification gang. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.